up you guys? Jeff again here with Bone Tat and I got a fun project lined up. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. Carly and Brandon Bayman obviously work in the power sports industry. Do some really cool stuff there. And Carly contacted me, asked me if they had to provide a school or if I had a school available. And I told them that I could find some and I asked them what kind of animal they wanted. And Carly told me that she would like to have a mule deer if possible. Luckily I had one available and so I sold that to them and then we started planning what we wanted to have put onto the skull. So as I mentioned before this is going to be for Carly's husband Brandon. He has some tattoo work on his arm of this human skull with the wrenches behind it. So she thought it would be a really cool idea to be able to put that same tattoo on a mule deer skull and do it bone tat style. Alrighty, I'm all set to get started. It's gonna be fun. I got most of the carving done. I have a little bit left to do, but I wanted to show it to you really quick. My air compressor, which powers my drill, keeps overheating because it's like 100 degrees outside, and it's not working. So, so close to being done. Just need to do that little bit of flame on the back and my signature on the very back of the skull. And then I'm done basically with the carving part. Well, I got the mule deer for the Batemans all carved up and uh, not colored yet, just uh, nice and white and pretty, but let's go take a look. I think it turned out really cool. Number 15, I'm not sure what the significance of that number is, I'll have to ask them. So we got the flames, we got the skull. Bateman, Tribal, and then we got flames up the cheekbones on each side. That was looking pretty sweet. Anyways, let's take it down and throw some color on it. See how this bad boy's gonna look. So, this is what we got before I take the color off. Pretty dark. The first time I did it, I was so scared I had ruined it. But after sanding and grinding and kind of hitting some of the high spots and just making the contrast come to life, I really found a way to make them look good. So I'm super excited for this to dry still wet. Gotta put the fan on it for an hour or two and then I can 
start taking some of that color off, bring out the contrast. Thanks for following along and uh, we'll talk to you again in just a few minutes. Alrighty, all colored and sanded and contrasted. Turned out pretty cool. The only thing I'm waiting on now is to hear whether Carly wants me to color some of the flames and maybe the Bateman crest. So just waiting to find out. Turned out pretty sweet. This skull mostly finished. Just got a text from Carly and I've been waiting all day because I've just been so excited to get working on this thing and uh, she wants some color on the flames so I'm gonna put it here on the little stand take a quick look at it um, just to show you before the color phase and then uh, I'll go put it on and then we'll go from there so check this out this is my little stand this is my favorite one I think it's so pretty I think it's got such cool color anyways Cool little stands that I make. This goes right there. Sets right on there, nice and easy. Wobbles for a little second, but really it's quite steady. Anyways, give you a quick look. As my knees pop. That's pretty sweet, looks good. It's definitely got that bad A looking quality to it. Guess what? I'm all done. Got another Bone Tats project all finished and wrapped up for Carly and Brandon Bateman. Brandon apparently has no idea about this. We're going to meet next Saturday. Hopefully that'll be on this video uh, and he's going to see it for the first time. His wife Carly is super excited to give it to him so this will be a lot of fun making this video. Anyways, all finished. As you saw in the last little video, I got the carving all done, the coloring. As far as the contrast part, all finished. The only thing I was waiting on word for was whether or not Carly wanted to have a little bit of color added to the flames. And I got the confirmation that she did. And so I added that color and I'm glad she made that choice because it really pops and it looks really cool. I'm really excited to show you. So without any further ado, let's take a look, shall we? Super excited how it turned out. Alright, here we are on a beautiful day up at Cabela's. It's kind of acting like there's some storm stuff coming. It's not too hot out here. It's raining across the valley over there. Hey, how are you guys? <laughs> Doing good. That are visible. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that fancy. I think it's cool. So that one's a skull with 
Yeah. Crossbow cr uh, spud wrenches. We got some for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Another name on it, too. That's all they did. Look, etched in there. That's the damn tattoo etched in there. Yeah. Together, yeah. See them guns, man. I don't know how you're supposed to. <laughs> kind of, huh? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, sweet. Carly, does it look as good as you thought it would? Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, buddy. Okay. Sorry about how abruptly that last clip ended. Uh, Brandon and Carly were super awesome people. It was way fun meeting them. But unfortunately, the rain came down and we kind of had to scatter and head for our respective vehicles to get out of the weather. But Carly, thank you for having me do that and for meeting us up at Cabela's. That was a lot of fun. It was pretty funny at first with Brandon not knowing who the heck we were or what we wanted and why we were gathered around him with a video camera rolling. But he was a good sport. And so thanks, Brandon. Appreciate you you uh, dealing with us in the moment. Anyways, Carly, thanks for letting us do that school for Brandon. Hope you guys enjoy it and have it put in a really cool place in your home or office. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate you guys subscribing, people asking me, about how to do projects, whether they're elk antlers, whether they're more skulls, people asking about uh, t-shirts and hats and just all the, the fun stuff that I had no idea I'd be doing this time last year. So I just wanna tell all of you guys I love you and thanks for all your support. It means the world to me, it really does. So, peace out.